Let's discuss what we know about couples who are related to one another. Um, so we know that marrying within the family is a common practice in many parts of the world and can bring with it social benefits. Mm -hmm. So in terms of genetics, if a couple is related to one another, we know that they may share similar grandparents um, or similar ancestor depending mm -hmm. on how they're related. Mm -hmm. um, and because of this, they share similar genes. Right, okay. and so in terms of that, there can be an, there can be a chance that both of them carry the same gene that doesn't work if that is within the family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so when we talk about the general population, each couple has about a two to three percent chance for having a child with some sort of health concern that's identified by the age of five. Okay. Okay. So for couples who are first cousins, that's approximately double to five to six percent. Okay. So it's okay. Higher. So mm -hmm. for the majority of couples who are first cousins, about mm -hmm. ninety-five percent of them, they're able to go on and have healthy children. And it's only okay. a small minority that do have children that can have a health concern. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense.